يعني لقيت زهر كيف لما اشوف العمل اقدر اوجد نفسي فيه يمكن اغلب اعمالي ترجع للعماء لمنطقه الباحه يمكن القصص لذكريات اغلبها اللي عشتها العمل يعني مستوحى من وطن يعني المملكه العربيه السعوديه في بالوم سبرينج اللي استوح اخذت من ترابه يمكن عندي التشابه اللي انا حسيته الشديد كان في لون التراب في الجبال في الصحراء عندي رغبه شديده اني اتعامل مع الارض دايركت اغلب المواد اللي اميل لها الخامات الطبيعيه كنت طول الوقت يعني اتكلم مع هذا القطع هل الارض انت يعني تتحملي هذا القطع لا تحركين هذا القطع what she's brought here is a sort of extrusion of geology you can see the the strata of different layers of sand of different eras she isn't scared to take on these enormous amounts of material اسم العمل ماذا يكمن وراء الجدران يعني يوقفك عشان تقدر تدور مخرج وتخرج عشان تقدر تنجز عندنا احنا الباحه الاغلب العماره التقليديه صح ممكن تكون مهجوره بس الى الان موجوده وبتلاقي فيها التمدن والبيوت المعاصره اللي يعني يمكن قليل منها مستوحاه من البيوت التقليديه في غواتيمالا اي هاف ستوديو اون the mountain near the lake Atitlan and that's where I paint mainly outside I try um, to absorb it and to show it in abstraction Vivian's relationship to the natural environment I think is one of the most genuine from any living artist that I know who's grappling with ideas of the landscape The idea of it is that I don't miss out, you know, painting. I, that is my favorite thing to do, and being outside as well. So this brings it all together. A lot of people talk about Vivian's work as landscape painting. I don't think about Vivian's work as landscape painting. She makes her paintings by often painting outside, incorporating organic material. There is a mystical, even an emotional and psychological dimension to these works that remind us that places have feelings. I feel physical and sculptural also about my painting. The drops from the leaves and whatever st sticks on them, I, I leave there. Vivian, because of the pandemic, could not conduct a site visit. But she was also very interested in how the desert exists as an imaginary forged by images that exist in postcards, people, selfies, and social media. I sent her a series of photos of the landscape of different places that I was visiting. And what you'll see in a big chunk of the body of work that we're going to present are tones, hues, and forms that emerge from this visual imagery. When I was living in Basel and working there, I also used bright colors. That was very strange for them. But uh, it, it is probably because I was born in Argentina that I carried that in me. That colors are not chosen by what I see, it's by what I feel. Vivian's uh, installation for Desert X is going to be installed in a very iconic, modernist um, sort of building. You won't be able to enter the space. You'll be able to see into this essential kind of glass box in many ways. So you have two landscapes in conversation in the installation. To bring this iceberg-like stone to the desert, it is something which would play together in such a strange, surreal way. 
Standing in the middle of super dried out desert, but just next to you, there is Palm Springs where they water their grass like daily and stuff like that. I mean, that's all quite quite a ironic picture in, in a way. And that's why I felt like um, that might be a good idea to bring this piece. My piece for Desert X called Power Pivot Sempiterial Clouds. I mean, Alicia's is interesting because it consists of these levitated rocks, this, this white marble. And when she came in February, I know she was, she was aware of the snow on the top of the mountains. Going through my ideas of the last um, few years, another project which I started to develop, which was meant to be produced in Iceland, and I thought it would be such a great idea to bring this actually Icelandic um, idea, which was about, you know, the glaciers and the environment, to bring this to the desert. It's also dealing with issues of time, of relativity, an exploration of that, of these spaces in between at various scales, on the grand scale, but also on the atomic micro scale. I mean, in a way, it's, it's, it's like a, an atomic model. I always try to imp imply in sculpture, actually, is that it seems kind of to move. We learn to read placement as motion, and that's why you can create a motion in the mind of the observer, um, even if there is no motion at all. What makes something like this interesting is the fact that it's open-ended and hopefully inclusive. What is super important for me is to place art, whatever kind of, um, in, in public spaces. This is like something super, like a basic need and a basic thing. Feminism is a socialist, anti-family, political movement that encourages women to leave their husbands, kill their children, practice witchcraft, destroy capitalism, and become lesbians. <laughs> it's a quote. <laughs> the art world has a male problem. <laughs> so I start looking into painting in a very different way. I'm doing a work uh, called Women's Quality. It's a piece uh, that I have done in 2001. And I asked people in the street, uh, seven women's quality. I took this word and I wrote it with flowers, reviving it uh, 20 years later in LA. My work is not, uh, is asking questions maybe. I want to know what are they thinking about. I want to know, like it's a ghost, like where are we standing? Title gives you a clue. I chose to do this because when the women were allowed to paint, they were allowed to do portraits. They weren't allowed to do any other thing than portraits. So I am choosing the portraiture because of that. Uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to paint without using painting, since painting was, was for me a, a male invention. The content is constantly evolving. It requires water, it requires care, it requires nurture, in that the piece then becomes active quite literally planting the seeds of femininity within the male landscape. Are you ready to listen to the quality of women? According to uh, the people of Palm Springs, I call it the American quality, 2021. <laughs> Beautiful, loving, nurturing, resilient, strong, caring and determined. It's too much, no? Feminism in general is to have the same rights in law than men and to be able to have access to education, to be able to have access to the same pay, to be able to have uh, freedom. This we all agree.